Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm gonna to show you the three Gmail settings you must enable in order to zero your inbox. So I want you to keep watching this video. If you use Gmail, you have already enabled the send and archive button. You've already enabled auto advance and you've enabled shortcuts. If you said no to any of these, no big deal. Learn how to enable any of those three features I just mentioned, videos 55 through 57, down below got you covered. All right, if you don't know how to use these features, don't worry, that part is next. I'm gonna show you how to combine all three to super boost your inbox processing speed. If this is interesting to you, keep watching. All right, I want you to gather your shortcuts. What does that mean? So you've already enabled them. Now I'm gonna cover four critical shortcuts that you have to use. Remember, well, you need to have access to for this to work. All right, so I'm gonna cover those right now. As I said, there's four specific shortcuts we need to make this work. The first one is E, and E stands for archive. I know E is not an A. Some of these correspond, some of them don't. All right, so E, archives the email, and let me show you how that works. So we are in our inbox, uh, we select the email, we press the E button, and it archives. It's just that simple. F, this one does correspond, forwards the email. All right, so we're gonna pop open an email, hit the F button to go ahead and send it to myself, say thank you, and send the email. All right. R also corresponds. This is gonna reply to the email. Open our email, hit the reply button, say thanks, and then send the email. All right. Lastly, we have two ways to send the email. Control plus enter, that'll send the email, or tab then spacebar. So control plus enter or tab then spacebar. So we're gonna reply, and I'm gonna say thanks, and I'm gonna hold the control button and hit the enter button off it goes. Alternately, I'm gonna hit the reply button, say thanks. When I hit tab, you'll see my cursor leave this screen right here next to thanks, and you'll see the, the button send an archive illuminated. So tab, and there it is. Push the space bar to execute, and there it goes. All right. So we've covered all four of those, really five, because you've got two options with the send. Now we're gonna move into, oh, how do I remember these? I think I talked about that, post-it notes. Just stick it right there on the front of your computer uh, until you've remembered it. Uh, here's some old ones that I was learning the other day, uh, but post-it notes, or whatever works for you. All right, bring it all together, Josh. You bet, um, but I'm gonna do it nice and slow. So we're gonna start in your inbox. We're gonna select the first email and then begin. The way that we're gonna do this is gonna look something like this. So I'm gonna show you how to archive an email, forward, send an archive, tab then spacebar, reply, send an archive, control and enter. I'm gonna do this twice and we're gonna start at the top and work our way to the bottom. What's important to note here is because auto advance is enabled, we're gonna move from one email to the next or from top to bottom until we're done with our inbox. If we didn't have auto advance enabled, it wouldn't allow us to do that. And if we didn't have the send an archive button enabled, when we send the emails, they wouldn't leave our inbox. So when we were all done and we come back to our inbox, the same emails that were in there when we started would remain when we're done. The send an archive button removes it from our inbox. So we work our way from the top to the bottom, and then when we hit the bottom and we're all done and we bounce back to our inbox, we're at zero. That's how the auto advance, send an archive, and shortcut features work together to help you empty your inbox. Here we go. All right, archive, Reply and forward, archive, E, brings me to the next email. Reply, control, enter. 
Email's gone. Next one, forward. All right, this one is, control. I did control and enter, tab. You see the send and archive is illuminated. Space bar, it's out the window. All right, so I did archive, reply, and forward. Now we're gonna do that over and over again until our inbox is empty. I think this is the last one. Boom. We're in our inbox. We got zero emails except for the bounce back from Banana Republic because they didn't like our reply. And we are done. The last part of this discusses the rule that I didn't talk about yet. Um, of course, the demo here, these are simple emails. My replies are meaningless. Uh, but these are actually in real life. Your emails are going to have tasks. They're going to have asks. There's going to be all kinds of stuff in there that you got to deal with. And how do you do that? You do it. Well, so first of all, you rinse and repeat those things that I just showed you, right? And you rinse and repeat using the GTD two-minute rule. Josh, what is the GTD two-minute rule? So GTD is getting things done, and there's a two-minute rule. And we're going to talk about that with a different visual here. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to define the requirement. So when the email shows up, what does this mean to me? And if it is a task that takes less than two minutes to complete, then I'm going to go ahead and do it now. If it's a task that takes greater than two minutes to complete, I'm going to defer it to a trusted system. All right, Josh, you've gone way too far down the rabbit hole. What is, what is a trusted system? I'm going to cover this very briefly. All right. A trusted system is either a task manager, it is a time manager, or a knowledge management system. How does that help me empty my inbox? That's a good question. So when your email requires action, you add it to your task management system. When an email requires talking, like someone sends you a long email that really should have been a phone conversation, you just go ahead and schedule a meeting in your time management system. Or if it's useful information, then all you need to do is save that information in your knowledge management system. Those are the three, or not task managers, trusted systems. And here is the entire equation from top to bottom. But that's not the purpose of this discussion. I just wanted to give you a little taste. All right. What's left? Uh, do all that until you hit zero, and then you're winning. Uh, that's it. Would you like some more? This video brought the know why. Uh, check out my other videos to learn the know how. As always, if this video was helpful, uh, please do like, subscribe, and share this video with someone else that might like it or might find it useful. I really appreciate it. Please also remember uh, ways to reach me are linked or listed in the outline uh, or in the comments down below. And uh, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Thank you for watching and have a great day.